Welcome to Godly Play, where we walk more slowly and talk more softly so that we can hear the Word of God. Are you ready to go into Godly Play? Then let's begin. The Lord be with you. Okay, and you know, maybe before we do our calendar today, I think we should just take, all just take a big deep breath and breathe in the love and peace of Christ this morning before we really get going in godly play. So we'll take a deep breath in. And let's take one more because we can all use some more of the peace and love of Christ. So let's take another deep breath. Okay, I think we're really ready to begin now. Let's take a look at our calendar today. We are kind of right in the middle of what color? That's right, white, color of Easter, the season of Easter in the church calendar. So we're going to move our arrow one week forward, and now we are in the one, two, three, four, fifth week of the season of Easter. So Easter isn't just one single day. The mystery of Easter continues, and we're going to learn more about that today. So let's sing our good news song. Good news, good news, hear the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, hear the word of God. This is the season of Easter. When we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and that God made him alive again. And today is another special day on the church calendar called Ascension Day. When we celebrate another mystery of Easter, the mystery that Jesus went away so that he could be with us in every time and every place. Now, maybe you noticed when we did our calendar, usually when I turn around here, we can kind of see our Christ candle right here set up for us to use later but it wasn't there this morning. That's because today the Christ candle is our story. So I set it up a little higher so that we could all see it really well today. And it's going to be the center of all of our activities. The Christ candle helps us remember the mystery of Easter. Now when there is no light, we say, Christ has died. But we know that Jesus is alive. So we say, Jesus is risen. Jesus was alive again. And one day he said to his friends, Go to the city of of Jerusalem, the holy city of God, and wait there 
Wait, for God will send you a special gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you power. Power to tell everyone about the kingdom of God. And then he told them, I am going away. You will not see me anymore. But don't worry. Don't worry, for I will be with you always, in every place, and every time. And he said, I will come again, I promise. And then Jesus disappeared into a cloud. So this is the mystery of ascension. That Jesus went away, but that he is still with us. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. This is the mystery of Easter. Now, I wonder. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when Jesus went away. I wonder if they kept looking for Jesus. I wonder how they still knew that he was still with them. I wonder how they felt when Jesus told them that they would be receiving a gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit. I wonder how you feel when you know that you'll be receiving a gift. I wonder what the gift looked like. And finally, I wonder what they did with the gift. Well, you know, usually this is the part where um, I might put the story away as we go into our reflection time, but I think I am just going to leave our Christ candle here and I'm going to light it so that while you do your reflection time today, maybe you could, every once in a while, look over and see that the Christ candle is still lit, knowing that God is with us. So I'd invite you to select some type of quiet activity to do um, as you think about today's story, whether that's with your art supplies or 
some other things you have around your home to maybe um, tell a story from some other week to think about this story in the light of Christ. And you know, some of you this past week sent me pictures of things that you have done in reflection time for other weeks. And so I wanted to share a few of those with you right now. And so I'll just share these and you can take a look and see if you recognize the story or maybe recognize that this is your piece of uh, artwork or play from reflection time. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those um, images, and I invite you, if you would like to take pictures of the things that you've been doing, and send them to me or to the church, that would be great. I'd love to share more with you. And now I would invite you to go into your feast time, and find something that you would like to eat with one another, and sit down with one another and share what you've done during this reflection time or talk about how this last week went for you. Were there things that made you happy this week? Things maybe that were sad or worrisome? And I invite you to talk about this coming week. What are you excited about? What are you fearful about or worried? Maybe there's friends that you'd like to pray for and family. So when you get done with that, you can come back here. And we're just going to leave our Christ candle right here burning as we read the scripture from today. And it's from the New Testament, from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 8 through 11. And this is Jesus talking, and he says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After Jesus said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid them from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. So just as in our story, I thought we would do the series of movements that we did in our story with our Christ candle to end today. And remember when there is no light, we say, Jesus has died. But we know that Jesus is risen from the dead. And Christ will come again. And he is with us in every place and every time.
Praise God. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and sing our song, Go Now in Peace, which I realized last week I forgot. So maybe some of you have noticed that and sang it yourselves, even though I did not. So let's sing together. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. And now I'm going to send you from godly play with this blessing. Christ is with you on your right and on your left. Christ before you, Christ behind you, Christ above you, Christ beneath you, and Christ within you. The hope of glory. Abide in his name. Amen. We'll see you next week. <laughs>